Hello, today I found out why we call bad actors hammy actors. If somebody's overacting terribly and chewing the scenery, you'd say, oh, that's a bit hammy. But what's ham got to do with it? Let's start with ham. So the word ham usually means pygmies. But actually, go back to medieval times, ham was the word for the back of your knee. The hollow at the back of your knee was called your ham. It had nothing to do with pigs yet. And that is why they're called your hamstrings. I always thought they were called hamstrings because they reminded people of stringy ham. No, it's because they're like strings on your ham. It wasn't until the 1400s that they started calling the meat from the back of the pig's legs, the pig's ham, ham. It's just mad. But what's that got to do with acting? Now there's a few theories. One of them was that actors would always boast about having played Hamlet. Mm. Another was from an acting troupe called the Hampton Students. Mm. A third was an actor called Hamish McCulloch. But no, there is one popular theory that really seems to be true and it comes from ham fat. Back in the 1800s, lowly paid actors would use ham fat either to help apply their makeup or to take off makeup at the end of a performance. Particularly those who are in minstrel shows, they would use ham fat to take off the makeup. So ham fat became associated with kind of low grade acting. There's a song about this from 1863 called The Ham Fat Man. Right through the rest of the 1800s, critics would call bad acting ham fatter acting. Ooh, that guy's a bit of a ham fatter. Ooh. And from ham fatter acting, it got shortened into ham acting, which is why we say it's a bit hammy. And that is something I've learned today. I will have another one for you tomorrow. More of these, by the way, on my YouTube. Thank you very much.